Uh, just a little bit. I mean, really business as usual here. Um, you know, recruiting camps and, and just having the guys in for open gym and workouts. So guys have been really working hard, and it's been great to see um, see them stay hungry. And, and I think there's just the success that we had last season, they're, they're ready for more. You know, for you, obviously, you know, Jeff led this program for 14 years. How do you put your stamp on this program, and how do you do that, I guess, early on in your tenure here as a head coach? Well, I mean, with the number of guys that we have coming back and returning, I think um, just kind of the familiarity with the program and, and, and practices is, is going to kind of stay the same. So I think with the guys, it's, it's, it's going to be good for them, good for me um, to have that many guys returning. Um, as far as a stamp on the program, I'm just going to try to do the same things that Coach Reckway did, recruit local talent, and that's what his pride was, you know, just trying to get guys that were local and, and win a championship. That was our, our goal all along. Yeah, talk about the uh, roster you guys have coming back because pretty much your entire roster is back. So the expectations are high as you start thinking about the upcoming season. Yeah, top, our top 12 guys are back. Uh, we lost Adam Cagnet as our only senior and uh, had a red shirt and Dan Palombizio. And then we added a couple freshman local guys, uh, Scott Cohn and, uh, from Bishop Dwinger and then LaMondre Warren from Harding. So um, we, we're pretty deep, and, it, and I, I guess the pressure is on, and, and uh, we're just looking forward to get started. Have, have the players and have you even gotten used to the fact that now you're the head coach of a program that just won a national championship? And if so, what's that, uh, that process been like? Yeah, I don't know if you ever get used to it. I mean, coming in the gym and seeing the banners just uh, uh, puts a smile on your face every time you see it. And, and I just think that when the guys walk in, they see that and, and they're just ready to work and, and they, want, they want another one. So, What was Jeff's biggest advice when he left and, and you took over the program? What was any advice that he gave you that kind of maybe has stuck with you? I think just uh, he just told me, you know, you're ready. You've been, you've been doing this for quite a while. And, and uh, uh, just having the confidence in me and, 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 and telling me that is, has been a great help. What's been the biggest, I don't want to say obstacle, but the biggest uh, thing maybe you didn't think about going in that now you're like, oh, okay, I, d I didn't really know that was going to be like that? You know, I don't think really anything because Jeff did uh, a nice job, and, and, and I've always thanked him for letting me be a, a part of every part of the program. So, you know, I've, I've kind of been prepared for it and, and, uh, and uh, am ready for it.